السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پیس اینڈ بلیسنگس آف اللہ ٹو آل آف یو لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین ویلکم دا ٹاپک از واٹ قرآن سیز اباؤٹ ملا دا ریلیجن آف ابراہیم پیس بی اپون ایم بفور آئی ڈسکس دی آیاس ریلیونٹ ٹو دس ٹاپک آئی وڈ لائک ٹو گیو یو فیو میننگس آف دا ورڈس For example, the word Islam. The word Islam in a, is an Arabic word which means to attain peace, to acquire peace. And then there is another word Muslim, which means submitter. Muslim means submitter to the will of Allah is a Muslim. Islam, you acquire peace. by following the government, uh, by following the ayahs of the Qur'an, do you attain peace? Then there is the word Milla, the topic, religion. Milla is not, uh, you know, Islam is not a religion, Islam means to attain peace. Normally in the world, it is propagated as Islam is the religion of Allah. Islam is the judgment of Allah. Deen in Arabic means the judgment. These words are very important to understand. Deen means judgment. Maliki Yawmid Deen, master of the day of judgment. So Deen is a meaning is judgment. And Islam means peace, to acquire peace. And Muslim means submission to the will of Allah. And the religion is Milla, the religion of Ibrahim. And what is the meaning of religion is the way of life, how a person lives a life. So in the world, people have got, when other people have got religions, that means they are following certain rules of do's and don'ts, what their religion teaches them. Similarly, what Allah says in the ayahs and how the ayahs we have to follow through the messengers, including the Ibrahim al-Islam, who the topic is what the Qur'an says about the Milla, the religion of Ibrahim, then you will understand how the judgment, that is deen, deen is the judgment, how you establish the deen, the judgment of Allah to acquire peace, Islam. And the religion you have to follow is Ibrahim al-Islam. This is the topic. Now coming to the attributes or the honor, given to Ibrahim al-Islam in the Qur'an. These are, these are few references that I will be reading, but there are many other honor, honor mentioned in the Qur'an to Ibrahim al-Islam. For example, I read in the first page, written down, I may not read in the sequence, but I may read it in my own way. In Surah Hud 11 and Ayah 75, He is mentioned as a personality contains as forbearing. Forbearing means tolerant. He was tolerant. Surah Hud 1175, he was awahun, sighing and wailing. Then in Surah, again Al Hud 75, Munib, he was a deputy representative from Allah, for Allah. Then in Surah Ali Imran 3 and Ayah 67, Hanifam Muslima, he was a true Muslim, submitter for Allah. Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 130, Minas Salihin, he was the one from those who correct themselves or righteous. Then Surah Al-Nahl 16, Ummatan Qanitan, he was a complete devout nation himself, nation himself. One person, a nation. Then in Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 124, he was the Imam, the leader of mankind. Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 124, Imam, leader for mankind. Linnasi Imama, he was for mankind an Imam. Linnasi Imama, he was an Imam that is leader for mankind. 
Then Surah Maryam 19 and Ayah 41, he was a true uh, Siddiqan Nabiya, he was a true prophet. Then in Surah Al Mumtahinna 60 and Ayah 4, Uswatun Hasana, meaning the most beautiful pattern. He had a most beautiful pattern to follow. Al Imran 3. Ayah 97, Ayatum Bayinatum Maqam Ibrahim. Clear ayahs, signs is the standing of Ibrahim or the standing position of Ibrahim in the Quran. And in Surah Al Baqarah 2 and Ayah 125, Wattakhidu min Maqam Ibrahim Sallah. You take the place of Salah from the standing position of Ibrahim. Uh, Al-Hajj 22-78 Millata Abikum Ibrahim The religion of your father Ibrahim This is our lecture that how he is the father the religion we are following is he's our father this is his title or status given as the father of the religion Ibrahim peace be upon him so the religion we Muslims follow actually it is the religion or the Milla of our father Ibrahim Islam. This is mostly people do not know that we are following the Milla religion of Ibrahim Islam. But what is Deen or what is the judgment of Allah? Because Ibrahim al Islam is the messenger and the prophet of Allah. So these honor or the titles are given by Allah. So whatever the Quran says about him, that is the honor given to him. So how the judgment, first you have to know what the Quran says about Islam and the judgment and then we'll see what is the religion of Ibrahim Islam. So in Surah Ali Imran 3 and Ayah 19 and 85, Inna deena inda Allah Islam Surely the judgment in the nearness of Allah is Islam, that is to attain peace, or to attain peace, submission for Allah. And those who were given the book did not differ except to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them and whosoever rejects with the eyes signs of Allah, then surely Allah is quick in taking the account. The first portion of this ayah, inna dina in the Allah Islam. The word is not milla. Milla means religion. Inna dina in the Allah Islam. Most certainly, surely, the judgment in the nearness of Allah is Islam to attain peace. All the ayahs in the Quran where is mentioned the do's and the don'ts, what you have to do and what you have not to do, or the events of the prophets and the messengers are mentioned. When we read them and when we analyze them and when we follow those judgments, then you acquire peace or attain peace. That is the judgment laid down in the ayats. The judgments are already laid down. So Islam is not a religion. You attain peace by following the judgments in the Quran. Religion, Allah says, is Ibra, Millat Ibrahim, that we'll come to know. So you must know the difference that normally people think Islam is a religion. Islam is a judgment, means you have to take a decision on a particular ayah which says, do not uh, eat the pork, for example. So if you take a decision, that's a judgment of Allah. He has passed his judgment that you do not eat the pork or you do not gamble. That's a judgment laid down in, in the ayahs. And if you follow that judgment, you are a Muslim or a submitter to the ayahs. That has nothing to do with the religion. Religion, through Ibrahim Islam, we have to follow. So you must know the difference between the, the deed, the judgment laid down in the ayahs, and you acquire peace, attain peace. وَمَغْتَلَفَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءُمُ الْعِلْمُ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ 
وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِآيَةِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ صَلِيُّ وَسَعَبْ And those who are given the book, Al-Kitab, did not differ except to wrong each other after the knowledge came to them. And whosoever rejects with the ayah signs of Allah, then surely Allah is quick in taking account. Now this book of Allah is given to, to the so-called labeled Muslim community. Whoever is, the book is given. Now Allah says in that people differ among themselves. When the knowledge came to them from the book, after you read the book, it, if, if I have not read the book, I will not argue and debate or discuss. Once I have read the book and I have understood the ayahs, the knowledge comes. So people differ after the knowledge comes to them. They did not differ the book. They differ among themselves to wrong each other, to say that you are wrong. That you are wrong, I am right. You are wrong, I am right. So this is what Allah says, that after the knowledge came to people, people deferred. Before, if, if you go, you say nobody differs if you don't know anything about a subject. If you do not know any subject, you sit there and listen what is the subject. The difference comes after the knowledge comes to you. Similarly, when you read the Quranic ayats, and when that understanding comes to you, so you want to differ now. Now you want to put your ideology in it. And then if you want to say that you are wrong, I am right, is also not right. Once you are educating somebody, you must say this is what the Quran says, and this then leave it. He, if he's differing, he's differing against the ayat. He's not differing you. If you are clear with the ayahs. So after the knowledge came to people, people differ among themselves by saying that you are wrong, wrong to each other. So Allah says, وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِآيَةِ اللَّهِ And whoever rejects thee with the eyes of Allah, فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ سَرِيُّ وَسَعَبْ And whosoever rejects with the eyes of signs of Allah, then surely Allah is quick in taking an, in, uh, the account. So if you reject the eyes of Allah, Allah will take the account. It's very quick. Now further, Ayah 85 says, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِينَ Whosoever seek a deen, a judgment, other than Islam, then it will never be accepted for him, and in the last, he will be in, from the lost ones. Now, while Allah says that if you do not if, uh, if anybody is seeking a judgment other than Allah, whatever Allah says in the ayahs, you do not take as a fact or a judgment, you don't make your decision on that, so it will never be accepted by Allah. Because Allah has laid down already the judgments in the ayahs, the do's and the don'ts, that you have to do this and you have not to do this. You cannot attain peace if you don't, do not follow those governing ayahs. So if you take a judgment or a decision other than Allah, what Allah says in the ayahs, it will never be accepted by Him because you will be lost. Because you have, we, our life, minds are limited. We cannot think beyond what Allah has already told us. So if you want to make a decision on any subject or any, in any matter, you have to concern the Quranic ayahs. And once the Quranic ayah is clear to you, then you make a judgment on it. That this is, I'll, I'll, I'll stand by it. And once you stand by it, you'll get peace. And if you do not take that judgment as a fact, so Allah says, Allah will not accept it. That means you will not attain peace. You will not have peace in your, in your hearts and mind. Now, I will read the ayahs where his honor is mentioned first. Surya Maryam 19 and ayah 41. Wadkur fil kitab. Ibrahim, innahu kana siddiqan nabiyya. And remember, Ibrahim in the book, surely he was a truthful prophet. The first ayah says that read, remember in the book, open the book, read the book, and Allah said to remember, remember, Ibrahim was a truthful prophet mentioned in the book. So now when we read this, we must understand that Allah made Ibrahim a truthful prophet. Why use the word Siddiq and Nabiya? Because there are false prophets in all times who claim to be prophets. In our current times and in the past, 
in all time there are people who are claiming to be prophets which they are not because no, nowhere in the Quran confirms them. Further he says Surah As-Safat 37 and Ayah 83 Wa inna min shi'atihi la Ibrahim and surely Ibrahim was from his there is bracket no peace be upon him sect. Now Ibrahim al Islam Nur Islam was before Ibrahim al Islam. So whatever the sect, he was also a messenger prophet, Nur Islam. So he was from the same sect, Ibrahim al Islam. People make division sects in all times, but Ibrahim al Islam and Nur Islam was the same sect, meaning they were following the judgments of Allah to attain peace, and they were submitters, Muslims and prophets. So they were on the same, you can't differentiate that Nu or Islam and Ibrahim were different sects. They were on the same sect. Now Surah An-Nahl 16, 120 and 121. Inna Ibrahim kana ummah qanita lillah hanifa wa lam yaku minal mushrikeen shakiran li an'umih ijtabahu wa hadahu ila suratin mustaqeen Surely Ibrahim was a nation truly devout for Allah and he was never from those who associates with Allah. He was thankful for Allah or his favors. He chose him and guided him towards a straight path. In this ayah, Inna Ibrahim Akana Ummah, Ibrahim was a nation. Now, if you know what nation is, I will read what the definition is. Nation, a body of people associated with a particular territory, total of persons of ethnic religious family, often having the same language and belief all over the world. This is the meaning of a nation in a dictionary. So, if you see a body of people, associate with the particular territory so wherever people are living group of people I'm talking about and following Ibrahim al-Islam's religion so they are all Ibrahim al-Islam's followers that becomes a nation so Ibrahim peace be upon him is a nation if you talk about the ayahs about what Ibrahim al-Islam said you are in his nation so Ibrahim himself is a nation Containing Ibrahim al Islam contains a nation of people by territory also. If you focus the territory, if you look in Mecca, if you not only Mecca, but I'll give you an example as like Mecca is a, is a, is a city bounded by territory, and in that territory you'll find one language and one concept and Muqam Ibrahim Musallah in the sacred house. But if I'm living here, if I'm also following that, so I'm also in the nation of Ibrahim. So Ibrahim al-Islam is not a singular, of course he is a single personality, but he himself has a whole nation included. Anyone at any given time follows the religion of Ibrahim, he is a nation with Ibrahim al-Islam. That's a group of people. <clears throat> and he was devout for Allah and he was never from those who associate with Allah. And he was thankful. We people do not thank, we should thank for whatever Allah has given to us, whatever. So he was thankful and he chose him and he guided him towards the straight path. So Ibrahim al Islam was Allah, chose him and he guided him to the straight path. In Surah 16, An Nahl 16 and Ayah 122, fi dunya hasana, wa inna fil we gave him beautiful in the world and surely in the hereafter he will be from those who correct themselves. So these what I am reading, you must understand what whatever Allah is describing Ibrahim Islam's personality that Allah gave him beautiful in the, in the world and on, in, on, on the last he will be from the, those who correct themselves. So if we are following Ibrahim Islam, the later on will come to know how to follow. So Allah will give us beautiful in the world and we'll become a nation with Ibrahim Islam. Now how Ibrahim Islam was educated by Allah and how he chose him, we'll see. Surah Al-Hajj 22 and Ayah 26. 
وإذ بوانا لإبراهيم مكان البيت ألا تشرك بي شيئا وطهر بيتي للطائفين والقائمين وركع السجود and we pointed out the place of the house to Ibrahim that you do not associate anything with me and purify my house for those who go round and who stand and bow prostrate. Now Ibrahim Islam, Allah says that we pointed out Ibrahim Islam, the house. The house here is referring to Kaaba. And he said that do not associate anything with Allah. Number one is Tawaid. Tawaid means the basic principle or foundation of the house. And that is do not associate anyone with Allah and purify my house for those who are going round, who are standing and bowing and prostrating. Now this procedure was going on before the arrival of Ibrahim Islam. Ibrahim Islam went in, Allah pointed the place, uh, the, place of, uh, the place of the house where the house is, where he could see that people were standing, bowing, prostrating. He was pointed out. Like for example, I point out to you like this, that you can see in Kaaba, you can see what is going on, you see people are going around and during the Salah they stand, bow and prostrate. So he, Allah showed or Ibrahim, so he pointed out to Ibrahim, this is what is it. So he pointed out to Ibrahim Islam that people are standing, bowing and prostrating and doing, going around the Kaaba. And the, the Kawai was do not associate anyone with, with Allah. And secondly, he says what you have to do, you have to purify my house. So he's referring that Kaaba as his house, Allah's house. For those people he has to purify that people who are standing, who are bowing, prostrating and going around the Kaaba, they, they, they have, do not have the concept, the correct concept of the house of, of the house of Allah. So he has to purify the house for them, for those people. Now how the house can be not purified? Because the people in all times do not have the correct concept of the house. Though they are standing, bowing, prostrating, though they are going around the Kaaba during Umrah and Hajj, but they do not have the correct concept of the house. Like for example, in current times, we believe, most of the people believe that there were six, 360 idols in the, in the house of God, physical idols. <clears throat> And at times there were no prayers going on and the, you know this is a history. But according to the ayahs of the Quran, there is no mentioning of the any sort of idols in the house of Allah. Nowhere. So that means people are praying, they are standing, going, prostrating, but in the minds, they have the concept that this house contained 360 idols with later on, but the, the, till Muhammad's TV upon him came and he, he, he threw out those idols. This is not the concept in the Quran. So if people are doing Umrah and Hajj, that means they are going there for Tawaf and they are establishing the Salah, the prayer, but their minds are not purified about the house of Allah. In the house of Allah at any time, there was no idols. Because that Allah says in one of the ayahs, inna wala baitkum that is a place of Mubarak, blessing and a guidance for all worlds, meaning for all times. Allah have created the Kaaba, made the Kaaba for a purpose that it is a place for guidance and it is a place of blessing. So how can you distort Allah's system? You can never. You can concoct your own religion as permission granted to you. The shaitan has got the permission to, to, to misguide people. They can do anything with their, with their own. There are so many religions in the world. But you cannot distort the system that is prevailed in Mecca for Hajj and Umrah and the Salah. It is prevailed. So you have to purify. People are doing it. People are doing at that time. When Ibrahim Islam was asked, they pointed out the place of the house. 
to purify the house for the people, those who do not have the right concept. They were standing, going, prostrating, they were doing tawaf at that time and still today the problem is still carried on. So you have to purify the house. Then Surah Al Hajj 22 and Ayah 27 in continuation. وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَعْتُوكَ رِجَالَهُمْ وَعَلَىٰ كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَعْتِينَ ضَامِرٍ يَعْتِينَ مِنْ كُلِّ فَجِّنْ عَمِيرٍ And you announce, Allah is addressing to Ibrahim and saying, and you announce among mankind with Hajj pilgrimage, they will come to you on foot, on every lean. They will come for from, from, from every deep mountain high highways. Now this word lean, I look up at the dictionary, that lean means that is to incline in feelings or emotions, intellect and actions. They will come with, from every deep mountain highs. Meaning, for example, I intend to go to Hajj. So I can go by foot or by anything. By, by plane. But my emotions, lean means every lean, my emotions, my intellect and actions will be inclined, bent over while I am visiting Hajj. So Allah said they will come, that is to incline in feeling, emotion, intellect and actions. So if, if you know the orders during Hajj, there are certain uh, legal rules applied to us that they, when you are there, you are not allowed supposed to do that is done written down in the point section do not have obscene talk that's one of the point the second is do not take the liberties that are forbidden to you do not argue and debate do not fight there are other these are the, the these are the orders that are mentioned in the quran who visit the hajj so when i am visiting the hajj so Allah said, they will come to you lean, means they will be inclined to these things, they will have this in mind, that they will have no obscene talk, they will not take the liberties, and they will not argue and debate, and they will not fight. And believe me, you will note, whether ignore it, whether people know it, but yet, such mass gathering is being gathered there during Hajj, you will find this kind of behavior most of the people will, will fall in this without understanding still also they will be emotionally involved they cry such tremendously and they are they avoid fight they do not argue and debate you cannot move a, a mass gathering in such an accurate manner if you go there you, you anybody gather anywhere, the, the, the amount of people that are gathered here, they move from, from, from Mecca to uh, Mina, then Mina from Mina to Arafat, and Arafat to Musdalfa, and then they come back to Mina, and then they go, this is Mecca. This mass million people are doing, and there are no fight and debate or fighting. In normal, if you see in a gathering, a huge mass gathering, people start fighting. So badly, they might some people can be there, you know, every, uh, but if you see in the mass, so they are lean, they are leaning, meaning their with emotions are there and they are inclined with emotions and feeling, the intellect. So on these things, they will not fight, they will not have obscene talk and they will not take the liberties. They will not argue, any, otherwise they are taking the liberties in the, in the, here and they are fighting also, but there you will find people are very sober not to do this all. So this was the order given to Ibrahim Islam.